get what you missed on. Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful Wednesday uh, morning that you've given us, oh God, to be alive, to be well. And we're grateful, Jesus, for the gift of life, for the gift of health, for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, that came to die for us, that we may be free and free indeed. Thank you, oh God, because when we confess our sins to you, you are faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us from all our iniquities, oh God. And so this morning we come before you asking you that you may forgive us of every sin that we may have committed uh, against you, whether knowingly or unknowingly and cleanse us with your precious blood so that we are able to stand before you holy and pure and our hearts may be acceptable before you we'll bless you and glorify this beautiful day in jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen Martin luther king jr said darkness cannot drive out darkness only light can do that hate cannot drive out hate only love can do that you think about that and as you think about that let me know what is your take what do you think when you hear walk in the light what comes to mind what do you think about when someone tells you it is important to walk in the light share with me 0702969969 is my text line so walking in the light and loving other people have has um uh, has uh, something in common it's the same thing you walk in the light you love others you hate someone you're walking in the darkness so ask yourself for how long have you been walking in the darkness if there's someone that you hate hmm and you know we say love is a doing what and so is hate so sometimes we think oh no i don't hate anybody i i love everyone i don't hate anyone at this moment but you know very well Ma- Madam Hashtag Positivity or Mr. Hashtag Positivity that you've been so negative to the people around you. Someone approached you um, for help or they were in need of some encouragement and you just dismissed uh, dismissed them off because you were going through a phase. You were going through something. Honey, you're walking in the darkness. That is exactly what God is saying when he's talking about walk in the light, love people. You walk in the darkness, you hate people. Um, you hate people, you walk in the darkness. How many times have we found ourselves in conversations that are complete malicious gossip about other people? Whether it's true what they've done or not, man, it's just wrong. Because sometimes we find ourselves bringing people down for something that they did. As if we are the ones who are perfect. Because if someone else was to dig, uh, dig, uh, dig down your mistakes and bring you down, how would you feel about that? Let us learn to love other people. See beyond what they're doing. See who they are. Because it's exactly what Christ has done for us. He doesn't look at us what we've done, what we've not done, the places where we've missed out, the places where we went wrong. No, he sees us for what he is. He sees us for what he's making us. So let us learn to see beyond what people are doing and love them for who God is making them to be. I know, it sounds crazy, right? But that's what was, that, that is what friends do. Hey, nah. You never call me when you touch down. Mm. Okay. Walking in the light. And we've just read from the good book that anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness. And there's so much that you cannot do in the darkness. It includes here that there is nothing in them. Uh, If you walk in the light, there is nothing in you to make you stumble. So if you're walking in the darkness, there's so much that could make you stumble and then fall, right? Your face facing down, your face, your face down. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's easy to fall when you're walking in the darkness. And you see, every time, every day, you see people posting and saying, it's a dark world, do we need a little bit a little bit more light? It's a dark world, a world, we need more light. But then you see, the light that we need as the world right now and how dark it is, is your love. We need you to be kind with us. We need you to be compassionate. When was the last time you're compassionate to someone? And some of us, especially leaders, man, leaders, man, we need to be compassionate. When someone is not delivering as well as you'd expect them to, is it at church, is it at work, whatever it is, maybe even at home as a leader, as a parent you need to be compassionate with people because people are struggling with things that we cannot even begin to talk about but then you notice that their performance is going down and the first thing you do is threaten them no that's not love it just don't work like that be kind be compassionate ask them what is up is there anything um, that is going on is there anything you'd like to share with me are you okay are you really fine let us be compassionate it's the only way we can add more light to this world it's the only way we can walk in the light don't hate on someone don't um 
lie about someone if they did say something and you want to get out of trouble don't use someone else to get yourself out of trouble it's just it's just wrong you will find yourself in even more uh, in even more trouble because now you're walking in the darkness and you'll stumble don't do that it's not cool it's not okay don't hate on people on social media we do that a lot right someone posts something maybe they have a forehead like mine and then people just go ahead and gang gang i see you i got my eyes on you i got my three eyes on you gang gang <laughs> And and then we start hating on them. And you don't know, maybe that person is still struggling with it as an insecurity. So let's be kind, man. It's not cool to call people names or to mock them because of how they look. It's not good, man. Let's be kind. Let's show love. It's the only way we, we can walk in the lines today. Uh, we read in the Bible. In the book of First John chapter 2, uh, I'm going to read again for you from verse 9. Okay? Let's read this again. Just one more time. It says, Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness. Anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. But anyone who hates a brother or sister is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. They do not know where they are going because the darkness has blinded them. You could read your Bible, study, know everything from Genesis to Revelation. You could know all the scriptures by head. You could be praying every single morning when you wake up um, consistently. You could speak in tongues. You could be the best preacher, the best teacher there ever was. But if you can't love, if you cannot show compassion, if you cannot be kind even to the quote-unquote least deserving of people, because sometimes we measure in our heads and we feel like, no, that one does not deserve respect. That one does not deserve compassion. That one does not deserve kindness. But who are you to say that? If you say that and walk like that, then you're walking in the darkness, no matter how much light you think you have. Because your love is the light that we need today in this world to make it a brighter place so make sure that you love on somebody today and be kind be compassionate ask how are you and actually mean it and be patient enough to have them explain to you how they're doing if they're not doing all right pray with them okay it's very important some people are just looking for someone to stand with them and you just could be the one to make their lives a little bit brighter it is 10 minutes now to 1 p.m let's pray Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day that you've given us, oh God, for your love that is unconditional. Father, you have loved us with all our mistakes, with all our clumsiness, with all our being um, uh, very careless, oh God, even in life. You still have loved us. How have you loved us, dear Lord, even when we, we didn't love you back? Teach us how to love people the way you have loved us, oh God. Give us hearts of compassion. May we be kind. May we be good to people, even those that we feel are not deserving deserving of goodness because you were good to us even when we were not deserving of goodness help us oh god that we may walk in the light that we may not walk in the darkness and stumble and fall through loving others oh god we're going to make sure that we are walking in the light and that we are walking in your light god you are love and you say that he who does not love does not know you because you are love and for the for us to get to know you i pray that we are going to walk in love and walk in the light we bless you and we glorify you in jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen Yvonne Mutui on Pearl Play weekdays from 10 a.m.